Hello everyone, this is Geek Must Have with another post bag. A number of items came in, all of them from China. Some of them didn't seem to survive the uh, trip too well, but uh, we'll find out if they're uh, damaged or whatever, and we'll open the first one. And the first one, and there's bubble wrap, and there's foam. They look like they picked just about every type of packing material they could find to send us. And I have no idea what it is. But it's in a retail package. Ah! And it is a J1-4 servo, servo tester. This is for testing servo motors. I uh, have a couple of robot projects that I'm going to work on that require multiple servos. One is going to be a robot arm. But uh, these are typically used by people who want to uh, check out their like uh, drones where there's four motors going and they want to make certain that the servos are working okay. Or model airplanes, not so much drones as it is airplanes. So this test uh, devices that are 5 to 6 volts uh, that are digital servos. It also has an, uh, an ESC consistency test capability. There is a number of key pulses that are capable for this. It's a 125H digital, 250H digital, and a 50H analog. So this does appear as though it will test both analog and digital devices at the same time. The package is a little wonked up. Let's see how the device looks. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling, uh, maybe not, it does appear to be uh, the way the package was made, not anything necessarily with shipping, as you can see here in the upper corner, it's a little wonky looking, and a little nub on there, I don't know what that is, but it's not a damage from shipping or anything like that. I didn't expect a whole lot for five bucks, but uh, I did kind of expect the cables to come with it. No, <laughs> yeah, the box is all smushed. Yeah, this is pretty much trash. Yeah. Probably would go on a dispute list. Would have been nice to get cables with it. Although, it doesn't say cables inside of the post for this. This is all mangled up bad. Oh well. Well, the next package is from Zhang Yun out of uh, Chouyang District, Beijing, China. This is package B, as you can see written on the outside here. I'm getting so many packages that I have to mark the packages with letters and then match them to the tracking slips because uh, some of the packages have slipped through postal and uh, not ended up with me. They've ended up with somebody else. Certainly hope whoever got them appreciates them. And of course the standard bubble wrap and tape. I can't complain, I've said this before, I really can't complain about them packing it so well. Considering what all this package has to go through to get to my desk, I'm glad that they do wrap it up. So, of course, they just fall out. I believe this first one is a ESP8266. And let's take a look at it. Yep. It's the, uh, whoop, the little Arduino chip, and then a uh, Wi-Fi chip that's here. Turn it around the right way, get the camera to focus on it. There we go. This is a small little Arduino with a Wi-Fi on it. It's a Node, ah, uh, yes, a Node MCU, which means uh, with the wireless it makes it a little easier to hook up. This is the second one I've gotten, but this one should be kind of interesting. And the second part of this should be the uh, prototyping board 
or the development board for this to allow me to mount this on there and power it and hook things up a little easier than trying to have to uh, hook things into a breadboard. So this is a customized development breadboard. The power plug seems to be a little loose and the solder seems to be a little dull. This is 6 to 24 volts on there. And then there's a voltage regulator on there that tunes it down to the voltage that the uh, node MCU wants. And basically this chip here plugs into the top of this and then all the pins from the actual board are available on the outside. And it also uh, kind of allows for an antenna to be mounted. Not certain how that works. There's a picture of an antenna on the board, but that's not a tracing. It's just the screening from the printed circuit board. So this is called a Node MCU Base version 1.0. It's got mounting holes on it. As you can see right there, see, so mount it to something. Uh, I might actually make a uh, little test pad for this and this on top of it. I think together this was like about 10 bucks. Uh, the uh, Node MCUs are uh, usually in the five to six dollar range and uh, that means that the Node MCU development board was probably about the same price. So the last item, I think I know what it is. It's uh, kind of loose plasticky, and I don't know if you can hear it, it rattles. And this comes from not able to read the shipping label. No problem. So, yep. Excellent. A very simple. volt battery box with a switch on it. I think it's got a switch. Yes, with a switch on it. So the 9 volt battery goes in there and there's a little switch to turn it on and off. And uh, it's got a cover. Yeah. snaps into place and there's even a little hole there to be able to put a screw down if you really want to attach this thing tight. Uh, I'm going to put a standard uh, 2.1 millimeter plug on the end of this so I can use this to power uh, most likely my signal generator which requires 9 volts uh, or as an additional power supply for one of my CPUs on a board. Maybe the Arduino. Maybe even this little bugger right here. The two of these could actually go together. That's uh, today's post bag. Uh, uh, if you like this video, then you know, please click on the like button. Leave any comments or feedbacks in the comment section below. And uh, I'd like to ask you if you could give this geek a hand and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Now, take a little time off and go build something. Maybe the Internet of Things.